Hey guys, and welcome to the coronation of Daenerys Targaryen. We are here, finally, to see the crown placed upon Danny's head. And so far, it's been um, an interesting day. We've had Littlefinger been put into our dungeons, um, which was an interesting thing to happen. Obviously, we're going to have to take him to trial, see what things come up. Maybe Danny will forgive him, maybe he'll be found guilty, and... He'll be able to pay for the crimes he's committed over the last how, how many years? The whole whole wars, basically. But yeah. Let's wait for the coronation, though. We're not going to have our coronation mired by a possible beheading or something. We're going to deal with the coronation, deal with Littlefinger, and then go to war once again. My liege, it pains me to say, but there is a traitor in the realm. <gasps> this... Rotten egg is plotting your downfall. I enclose the damn evidence with this letter. How dare he? Danny's had to deal a lot with kind of people conspiring against her. Who is it? Harwood Fell. Well, he's a roller worshipper, and he has given me evidence. So I, I feel Danny would obviously. She's quite a paranoid person. She's gonna have to deal with this. Fetch me the traitor. And what is this? This is obviously my husband. He wants me to marry my son. Now, we've only got this right now to make sure he doesn't marry my son off to someone stupid. That's really the main reason why we have it right now. But we will be marrying Danny off as soon as possible once, you know, we've got a bit through it. And once we've taken over the remaining places, really, that's when I want her to get married. Probably the someone who's more of a political marriage. But we'll wait to see who that is. I haven't decided who that will be just yet. We'll have to go through who's ever left of the Lord Paramount. Some of them are probably going to change by the time we get there. There. Crowning of the Queen, in the name of the Father, I, Daenerys of the House Targaryen, the first of my name, promise, pledge, and guarantee in the sight of the Seven that I will be the protector and defender of the realm, in all ways useful to it, however many, in so far as I am supported by divine assistance, according to my knowledge and ability. Today I was crowned by His Holiness the High Septon, and formally received the title of Queen of the Andals, the Rhoyna, and the First Men. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm, Khaleesi, Queen of Marine, Astapor, Yunkai, Breaker of Chains, Mother of Dragons, Stormborn, Aegon with Teats, all the titles she has, they are all worthy. I'm sure I've missed one or two, but yeah. And he just popped up once again, okay. So we'll deal with that, okay. My prisoners complain about his dark cell, then rot, and I should probably now, now the coronation is done, we can bring Littlefinger forth. Littlefinger, there's some damning evidence against you that you've been kind of naughty when it comes to your vassals, treating them like nothing. How do you plead? How would you like this trial to go, Littlefinger? Okay, Lord Paramount Peter Baelish has demanded trial by comp- Really? Trial by combat? You're trying to do a Tyrion here, Littlefinger? And is summoning his champion to King's Landing. He will remain in the dungeons until the- Who could his champion be? Well- we got to deal with that first, and then we'll go to war. We'd like you to back our plot to replace Grey Worm. No, I put him there. And it looks as though the Florent was executed by Mace Tyrell. Ooh, who controls it now? Is it still a Florent in charge? Yeah, Meryl Florent now controls it. His heir, though, is not a Florent. It could be he's the last male Florent, because the other one's a Maester. The Florents could be in danger there. They did lose a lot of people by joining Stannis' side. Bring the greatest knights in all the realm. Okay, Plum, obviously we said this before. Lucas Tyrell, okay, bring another Tyrell into the King's Guard. Could again try to cement us even more with the Tyrells, obviously. And remember, the Knight of Flowers did die fighting the White Walkers. So, you know, that, that was an honorable way to die. He saved the realm. Maybe Lucas could do it once again. And Alba Royce. Huh. Oh, he is trained fighter and strong. He's honorable, but neither of them seem to be brave. Yeah. He's trusting. Proud. Wrath. Hmm. Which one? Now, obviously, I know that the dual skill estimate here is not always correct, because obviously the mod uses some different modifiers, technically. But I'd like to look at it just to give a vague idea of the things we can see. I think I'm going to go with Lucas Tyrell. No, I've never looked much good in white. Okay, so... There we go, Lucas Tyrell's now coming. The guards drag Littlefinger up from his cell and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice, he says. By right of birth and blood, I demand trial by combat. 
Lord Tywin Frey will be my champion. Okay, so Tywin Frey, the son of Jane Darry, and Cleos. Oh, it's Cleos Frey's son. Ah, oh, Cleos Frey. At the moment, he controls River Run. He's a trained fighter, but he is brave, so he does have that going for him. He's married to a Lannister. No children. Oh, I feel bad for him if he dies. You've that right. Who will protect me? We could choose Grey Worm. Grey Worm should be able to handle it. Tumko. But Tumko has no children. We've just given him land. We should give him time for his wife to have the baby. Not much time has actually gone by since we've taken over. We could also choose Larak Moresnak. But, mm, I don't know. Or we could choose one of our King's Guard, Hero. Again, Hero should be able to do it. I think we should choose Hero. He is a member of the King's Guard. Um, he should be able to handle this based upon you know, being a skilled fighter. He's just generally better. Talad the Tall actually has Oathkeeper now. He got that off, obviously, Robert Strong. Love that. I, I think when he dies, it will probably go to me as his liege lord because he has no family. I would love it if it could be some sort of King's Guard sword. But I know that, obviously, it, you know, for example, if Balon Swan becomes Lord Commander, if I give him the sword after, if he dies, it will probably go off to another swan. So that is not good. It would be really cool because Oathkeeper just fits so well with the idea of a Lord Commander. But yeah, that could give Danny though, a Phileo and Steel Sword. We don't have Blackfire. We don't have Dark Sister. Having Oathkeeper could be one that we could have instead. But we'll see how that turns out. But yeah, let's go with Hero. I'll stand for you, Your Grace. What will be the outcome for Littlefinger? Has he found a way out of this? Has he managed to curl, you know, slide his way out? Sliver through the cracks again? Fight well, hero. Oh, your Kingsguard hero was slayed? No! It didn't pop up. Why? Oh, no! <laughs> hero, you made it all the way to Westeros with us, and now you're dead. So, and Littlefinger, once again, he's managed to sneak out. He's pulled off a Tyrion. I gotta give it to him. He knows how to survive. Okay, greatest knights. We need more Kingsguard people. We got Eren Graves and Kenos of Wonders. Well, both of them skilled fighters. I like of Wonders. Because I love the name of Wonders. And he's actually a member of the Warrior's Sons, which is pretty cool. I'm going to choose him. Ah. I have ambitions that will not be served if I sworn to the Kingsguard. Okay, so another person rejects it. But now that's dealt with. We need to go to war. We're going to go try and take the Stepstones. The Valerians, obviously, consider themselves their own kings. We need to go there and take care of them. Oh, the brother died. Monteries was slayed by Bryce during a trial by combat. Huh. Okay, so his brother, King Jacares, is now in charge. Okay, married to a roller girl. His heir would be the Celtic. Is that the last Valerian? Wow, the Valerians have really hit hard times. But yeah, we need to go put them back under us. The Valerians, obviously, historically, have always been... Well, not always, but for many generations have been under the Targaryens. We can't let themselves put themselves as kings. But to do that, I feel we need to put the Lord of the Stormlands first. Because we're going to be taking Stormlands lands back. And also, like I say, our vassal is a bit too high right now. But who to give it to? I wanted to give it to Barris and Selmy's son... But he's under 10 years old. He's too young to take on the mantle of Lord Paramount. Plus, we need some land to give him first. Now, I did just capture Felwood. That's a good point. But Felwood is not really a great castle. It'll be hard for him to control it. But we do obviously have Arsene Selmy. I could give to Arsene Selmy and let him rule the Lord Paramount. Because, you know, he is 41. He's an older man. His son's 12, he's older as well. Hopefully they could rule the Stormlands in his steed. Maybe we could give Barristan's son an honorary position on the King's Guard. I think we're going to do that, yeah. So here you go, Selmy. For your family's honor. And we could say, obviously, there's men that risen up when we attacked. Obviously, maybe we could say they're from the Selmys. But there we go. We're given the Stormlands. This means we're now basically ready. But we need an idle person. Collect taxes. Yeah, do that for now. Okay, I can't believe Mormont is still alive. Yeah. Okay, now that that's done, we should probably go to war. 
I don't see anything else particularly I want to do, yeah. Okay, we're going to take the stepstones back. Off of vassalization. Ah, he would not take it. Okay. Now, because we want the whole thing, we're going to have to go Dragon Conquest. There we go. They'll honor their obligations. The first, the first point of call for the reconquest of the rest of the Iron Throne. Kevin Lannister has been quite smart. He knew Danny was coming, and he knew it could fall apart with Tommen. So by actually making the Rock independent, call himself a king, he saved a lot of Lannisters. He knows if Danny gets here, it's a death sentence for the Lannisters. Because think about it, you know, Danny doesn't like the Starks. She doesn't like the Tullys, the Baratheons, the Arons. But the Lannisters, I think she has a special hatred for, especially due to the fact that obviously, you know, Tywin could have saved her, fa her father. He could have gone to King's Landing when he got there. He could have helped defend it. Maybe they wouldn't have won, but it might give them time to allow the Tyrells and the rest of the men to march from Storm's End to relieve King's Landing. It could have completely changed the war, but instead he went in there killing the children and other people in horrible ways. I don't think she even really forgive the Lannisters for that. Maybe not all of them. Obviously she did forgive Tyrion in the end, but in general the whole family itself. So he's been quite smart to keep himself separate. He thinks maybe they can have a fighting chance, but he is wrong. Um, I'm just going to take our special event troops. And obviously I have my dragons. We've got Grey Worm and we'll take... Uh, he's wounded. Let's take Aggo with us. So we'll take them with us. Maybe we could get some more commanders. We should probably have a quick look what options there are. Oh, six more. Wow. So we can go with Aegon. Prove yourself on the battlefield. Uh, Mormont. Still able to fight. Fazar. Vance can join us. We can have Gilbert Farron. And uh, Talad Tall, I think. Yeah, it's the last position. Lord Commander should come. So who do we have here? Then we'll go with Aegon and Grey Worm. The ships are over here. So we're going to bring them over here. We're going to go straight to their capital. Obviously, the Selmies will join us. Thank you very much. He doesn't have many men, of course, because he's a new ruler. But hopefully, we can try and protect him. Representatives from Teon Lannister requested an audience with you. Upon meeting with them before the court, you hear they are offering to pay the ransom. I'm sorry, they will never leave King's Landing by my choice. I believe Cersei Lannister has been in your custody for too long. Ah, your wife, I'm sorry. Again, she is not leaving. So he's safely in the rock, but Cersei Lannister was in King's Landing. Okay, you go in there. Your allegiance, Mr. Fozaway. Excellent. What is going on with these? Straits of Tough. Okay, they're just not joining, apparently. Okay, that's fine. Add them straight down to here. Actually, where is the king? Shame Isle. So I think that is one of these. Sunstone. I can never remember all of the names. Rex. Okay, Shame Isle's down here. Because he could have just started over here in the Stormlands. Yeah, obviously, Littlefinger, the Tyrells did not join. The Bloody Gate. So Donal Rainwood. Where are the ships? Where are my dragons? The greatest knights. None of these... <laughs> we got no great knights, apparently. Intervene. Ooh, who's attacking you? Tumco. Dejure War. Huh. Ariana Bywater. I'll order the stand down. I've collected the tax. Excellent news. 16 gold. We got so much gold as it is. I mean, I don't really need it. Thank you. See, the Fozaways are all joined. Thank you. Your Grace, I'm afraid I cannot end this war. My cause is just. And as such, you have no right to command me to stand down. Well, I guess it is a du jour war. So she's just putting them under her, which I think is fine, actually. It should be, probably. Have arrested for treason. I'll name someone else the right for rule of the Kingswood. Maybe I will allow it just this one time. Yeah. I, I think it's probably fine. because It's a du jour war, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, she's going to put it underneath her. She's not going to take his land, so yeah. That's fine. Your grace word from Mantries, Lord Vaker II, has led them in a coalition. So it looks like people are going to join to help the Stepstones. Oh dear. Oh no, Volantis as well. Okay, that could cause some problems, but we should be okay. We've got dragons, of course. We've defeated basically all of them before. And actually, he's in Dragonstone. Sail the dragon. He's right there. This is where he should be. Okay, there were no greatest knights so from the powerful houses. Kettle Black. No. Well, apparently it's like at the moment we can't choose any Kingsguard people. 
I'll have to try and get people as they come. Let's jump right in then. Dragonstone will not fall. There we go. Done. Yeah, Kettle. <laughs> they keep trying to give me Mr. Kettle Black. I don't want him. Okay, where okay, he's gone back to the home base. We'll jump on the ships and we'll see if we can actually get him there. Your grace, your courtes at Aegon Essos has left King's Landing. Without seeking your permission, we've heard rumours he's gone to Lord Millard Chelstead's court in Bramsford, where he's receiving re support for his claims. <gasps> Aegon's betrayed us. Eh? Can you imagine that we hear a report we see Aegon riding out of King's Landing by horse very quickly? With his family? No, he's le <laughs> he left his wife behind. <laughs> he left his children behind, but... He's gone off, and we've heard rumours, obviously, that they support his claim. Those sons of... I knew I could never trust that Aegon. He was obviously a fake before. I knew we could never trust a fake. Damn him, I should never have brought him all the way here. And this girl's become a poor fighter. It's just going to be Kettleback all the time. I should just, I should just stop clicking. <laughs> it's just going to be Kettleback until we get all the realms back under us. I always hate that when you get a Mega War system. Makes it really difficult to find King's Guard people. Okay, now Aegon's not here. Let's go for Vance. Let's jump. Okay, now he's joined an army, hasn't he? Of course he has. Okay, we're just going to take the capital then. We're just going to take this because we're here. We might as well. Don't bother me right now. Okay, should be easy to take. Done. We'll take his family with us. And then we'll jump on the ships. These lands are not particularly useful. But where is he? My allies obviously have joined us. The Trident's in trouble. A lot of the other lands are basically not getting involved. Including the north, of course. She finally got married to Sander Frey. Are you kidding me? You got married to a Frey? <laughs> Maybe he's a good Frey. I don't recognize his name. But okay, but it was a matrilineal marriage. So, you know, she gets pregnant. She's 29. She has a great chance of that. It could save the Stark line. Rickon's not married just yet. So unless he gets married, it won't save the line either. Everyone on the ships. Ah, we've got the Septon. Let him rot for now. 65%. He's gone into hiding, apparently. So he's actually back here. Okay, let's just siege his territories because as we can see here, we got 65%. They're basically done for. We'd be merciful with the child, of course. Um, the wife, let her rot for now. Merciful with the kids. And we'll put the ships over to here. 22nd, okay. Now these should be quite easy to take. Because they don't have many men. Deeply hesitant to ask with the coffers of your law subjects. Uh, running dry. Placate him with flattery. We have to continue. We've got to bring back all the Iron Throne together. Release all the prisoners. Well, whoever these people are, yeah, they probably should remain here. 69%. A new Lord Commander. Lord Commander Samuel Tarly. Will you look at that? Lord Commander Samuel Tarly. Who would have thought? Who would have thought Samuel would have gone on this type of adventure and then become the Lord Commander? After Jon Snow. Jon Snow would be proud. I like that he does have uh, Amon Snow counted as his child. <gasps> Jilly <laughs> the Unfaithful. <laughs> uh, Jilly the Unfaithful, of course she was. She was just using Samwell to get down south, of course she was. Amon Snow, that was strong. Um, Bastard Craven. He's actually married to a Meadows match. That's a, that's a pretty good marriage. He's now a lord. You know, for a bastard wildling, that's a pretty good outcome, I think, you could say. They do have another son. Unwin Flowers. Now, this is actually Samuel and Jilly's child. But it's a bastard, so is it actually Sam, seeing as she was unfaithful? That's the question. I wonder. It's in... It's in the old town. It's not with Sam. It's Guardians of Rowan. The Lady of uh, Hightower. Huh. No idea what's going on over there. But interesting adventure for him, I guess. And we'll continue on. What's this? I'm going to buy her loyalty. I'm going to decline that for now. Continue marching, my men. 
This war is easy. Easy and done. With us and the, the honorable Selmies, this will be easy as pie. And she's pregnant, good for them. And the Tyrells, as you see, we can trust the Tyrells. Now we, we've managed to make enough kind of happiness, you know, happy times with them. They now trust us. And that's actually not helped us. <laughs> oh, we need to take back the capital. Looks like someone took back the capital. I'll honor my allegiance. Lancel Lannister? Really? I guess he's trying to... Maybe he's trying to make amends. Because, you know, Lancel obviously went a bit religious and weird by the end point. Maybe now he's kind of feeling that he needs to kind of fix the things his family have done. So maybe he's trying to support Danny. Interesting possibility. This girl in my dungeon actually just got better at fighting. Defeat 53%. What is going on here? Destroy his armies. Take them down. On the 6th, we defeated them. Probably capture this before we go. Just to make sure. There we go. We've been assigned a new maester. Maester Balabar. Okay. Victory 55%. we got to go here. It seems the main does not favor him. Mr. Crab. Poor Crab. Poor Mr. Crabs. Mr. Balbar arrived at our court. We're going to attack these guys here. Obviously, going across the strait is not great, but we should be fine. The Tyrells are here as well. We managed to capture this guy in battle. Pretty good fighter, actually. 63%. One day away, and we can assault. There's no one of value here. 77%. Probably go and capture the remaining places, yeah. We could probably leave the lands and the stormlands to the stormlands. I could hear someone sneaking around inside and believe it to be a burglar. When I went downstairs, I discovered Jarmin opening one of my letters. <gasps> Jarmin, sell me. What are you doing? I'll teach him to be less noisy. He could use some practice. Yeah, she'd help him. She's not going to hurt him. Let's crown him a dragon egg. <laughs> no, no, of course not. Let's just go for our positions. We need to master our arms right now. We need someone who's a skilled fighter. Are there no skilled fighters throughout the realm? There is one. Oh, well, there's another one. They're all kind of far away. Buckwell here could be an okay one. Right, okay, let's have a quick look at Talad the Tall. He trained children. 8%? Yeah, go on. Let's go for that then. He might be able to trail and train Mr. Selmy. In fact, I should get Selmy a guardian who can actually fight. Let's get him an actual proper guardian. Where is Miss little, little Selmy? Selmy, where are you? Let's find him. There we go. Mr. Selmy, we're going to find you a proper good fighter. Uh, assign a guardian. Is there anyone we have who's a great warrior? A Grey Worm? A Grey Worm actually would be a pretty good teacher, I think. Uh, Mormon, probably not. As good. Let's go for Grey Worm. Grey Worm, teach Jarmin Selmy how to fight. Oh, if only Hero was alive. We could have got Hero to teach him, you know? Ah, that would have been a lovely story to have. Him being able to teach him. That would have been great. I would have loved that. Then Rot. I oh, know the ship's basically... Yeah, it's basically in the same place anyway. Should be fine. 79%. Go, my people. Go, go, go. And in seven days we can assault. Honor my allegiance. So, okay, Carlton Lannister's going to honor it. He's trying to obviously make peace of us because he's a young boy. He's in our dungeon. 87%. We could probably just go here and take that. And the war will be done. But I'm going to have to end this part here, guys. I hope you guys will join us next time. We can finish off the Stepstones. And then next will be the rock. Castly Rock will fall to Danny. Kevin Lannister, fire and blood is coming for you. There's nothing you can do to stop it. And Lancel, your own son and heir, is on our side. What will you do? Will you fight your own son? We'll have to wait and see. I'll see you then.